Good morning, everybody, and hope you are all well. And there, yes, you've all been back at school and hope that you enjoyed seeing your friends and your teacher again and having a different environment and, and studying hard and learning a lot of new things as well. Um, I hope that everything is well with you and really, really miss you guys a lot. Um, today, we're going to carry on with the lesson that teacher Tash was telling us about, uh, where Joseph was in jail and the Pharaoh called him to decipher one of his dreams that he had. And remember then when Joseph uh, gave uh, Pharaoh the, um, the, the actual description of what his dream was, was all about, he was then put in charge of Egypt um, to make sure that there was enough food and stock for when it was time for the drought to come and where things were very, very slim and things weren't growing, that there was food and stock for, for people. Now, today's story, we're going to carry on from there. And basically, we... Joseph, um, Joseph was in charge and he was ready for the drought. And when um, Egypt had a drought and there was no food and there was no rain, um, so did the land of Canaan have the same problem. And Jacob lived, Jacob and his family lived in Canaan. Now, who was Jacob? Yes, that was Joseph's father. And remember, the brothers actually threw him in a pit. And that's why he land, uh, Joseph landed up in Egypt. Now, in Canaan, there was also the drought. So that Joseph, Jacob and his family ran out of food. And Jacob found out that Egypt, if you went to Egypt, you could actually go and buy food because they had plenty of it. So Jacob told his, uh, his sons to go to Egypt and go and buy food for the family because without that, they wouldn't survive. So Joseph, um, Jacob told Benjamin he was not allowed to go. And Benjamin was the youngest in the family. And Jake, uh, Jacob started um, taking Benjamin as one of his favorites. Because remember, Joseph was his favorite um, child and Joseph was taken away from him. So he was scared that Benjamin was going to either be taken away from him as well or get killed or something was going to happen to Benjamin. So Benjamin stayed home. Anyway, the, boy, the, the brothers all packed up their stuff and with the donkeys, they went with some money off to Egypt and it took a couple of days to get there but eventually they got to Egypt and when they got to Egypt they asked around to find out where can they buy food and every body told them that they need to go and see a specific person and so they went to go and search for this person when they got to this person they did not realize that it was actually Joseph that was in charge of the food and they bowed down to him and said that they were coming from the land of Canaan and his uh, father and his brother were at home and they needed food. And then Joseph realized who was in front of them, in front of him. And he didn't say anything. And he saw that the brothers didn't recognize him at all. Why didn't his brothers recognize him? That's right. He was a lot older than when uh, they actually put him in the pit. And also, he was in different kinds of clothes. He was in Egypt, in Egyptian clothes. Um, and it's completely different to the clothes that they wore in Canaan. Anyway, Joseph recognized his brothers and decided to test them. And he told them to get up. And he said to them, what do you want? So they told him that they wanted to come and buy food for their family. And then Joseph said to him, where do you come from? And they said, from uh, the land of Canaan. Now, Joseph knew the answer and he knew it was correct. But he said to them, no, you are spies. You are lying to me. You don't want um, food. You just want to spy on Egypt. 
And the more the brothers were telling him, no, we're not spies, the more Joseph said, no, you are, and that they are lying. And they, he then took them and told them, uh, told the, the, um, the guards to take them away and put them into prison. And that's where they stayed for three days. And after three days, Joseph called for them again. He then said to them, all right, fine. I'm going to let you go with food. Give me your money. So the brothers gave Joseph the money for the, for the corn that they had bought. And he said to them, if you come back next time to, K uh, to Egypt to buy food, you have to bring your youngest brother with. And if you don't, then I will not help you again. And you can just leave. But in return, to guarantee that this will be done, they had to leave one of their brothers in Egypt. And to make sure that they would state their promise of bringing the youngest. Now, the youngest was Benjamin, yes. But Jacob didn't want Benjamin to go with. Joseph was longing to see his brother. So instead of his, Joseph being nasty to his brothers in the sense of not helping them, he still cared for them, even though he was thrown in the pit and sold to the, the traders as a slave. He still loved his brothers. He forgave his brothers. But he wanted to see his youngest brother. So the brothers decided or agreed with Joseph that they will bring Benjamin the next time they come to Egypt. And so Simeon had to stay behind because that was the deal. Simeon stayed behind and would only be released once Benjamin came to Egypt. So off they went back to the father. On their journey back, it became dark and they stopped off somewhere. And they realized that the, when the, the people packed the corn, Joseph had put the money back in the bag. And when they opened up the bag to get some food, they realized that the money was still there. And they couldn't quite understand why the money was there because they still didn't realize it was their brother. When they got back to um, home, uh, they told Jacob all about what happened um, in Egypt. And so the next time we will hear about what, ha what actually happens when they run out of food, whether Jacob does allow Benjamin to go with or not. So we're going to see what happens. But today's story is, I would like to just discuss it and take it further. Like Joseph, like God cared for Joseph while, while Joseph was in jail and everything that happened to Joseph up to this point. God protected him and cared for him and loved him and was with him all the time because Joseph believed that God was there and knew that, Jesus, uh, that God was there for him all the time. Now, Joseph was able to care for his brothers because he loved his brothers, even though they did something wrong. He forgave his brothers and also cared for them, made sure that they could actually take food home to his father, who he missed very, very much. Now, today's lesson, what I would like you to do this next week and, and longer, if you can, is what can you do with your family that will help your family. Um, just like, you, like Joseph cared and, and helped his family, how can you care for and love, uh, help your family? So today's uh, or this week's activity, I want you to go to mom or dad or your brother or sister or your auntie, uncle, whoever, and ask them, what can I do to help you? and see where, where you can actually help. And you know what? God will look down and smile because God loves it when we actually help others. And, that, and also, very importantly, when we forgive others. So that is your activity for today. Hi, guys. Bianca here. Hope you're all doing well. 
Today's memory verse is from Titus 3 verse 1. Remind the people to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready to do whatever is good. And the key part it to remember is to be ready to do whatever is good. Bye guys. It's always wonderful to know that God is always there with us. So if we love God, we can show and care for others and show how much we love others and how much we love God. So boys and girls, just learn this memory verse. So when you are feeling down in the dumps or you want to get angry at someone, think of these words that we have just read today. And think about how you will actually hurt someone if you are angry or nasty. Rather be kind and compassionate to others. So I want you to really make an effort. Instead of saying something nasty or doing something nasty, I want you to do something nice and actually show that your loved one, whether it's your brother, sister, or members of the family, or friends, how much you actually care for them and how much you, they actually mean to you. So that, that, that is the lesson um, for today. Right, boys and girls, I would like you to now close your eyes um, so that we can actually close in prayer. And, um, and then we're going to have worship time together. So, let us close our eyes. Dear Lord, thank you for always being with us and guiding us in the right direction. Please help us to always be kind to others and help our family and friends with different things to show them we love and care for them, just like Joseph. Help us to become a better person. We pray for those who are sick lonely, hungry, and have lost their way. Guide and keep them, Lord. We pray this in your name. Amen. Right, boys and girls, we're going to close off now and we're going to have a nice worship time together. Um, I just hope and pray that you have a lovely week. And yes, we're going to be celebrating Spring Day next week. Let us all just, um, just be careful because it can still get very cold. So don't quite put your woolly, uh, winter woolies away. Um, but, but enjoy the spring and celebrate the springtime where everything changes um, to beautiful flowers and green trees and green grass and time that we can actually spend outside. And I pray that everything goes well with school. And I really pray that we're going to see each other very, very soon. Have a lovely time. We miss you all. God bless to everybody. Bye-bye.
I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please share with a friend or subscribe to our channel so that we can make more fun dance videos. Bye!